We're here with uh, Yumi uh, Yoshikawa from the Chichibo Distillery in mm -hmm. Japan. Thank you for joining us. It's oh, thank you very much. Where you are, and it's early morning where I am. So <laughs> we're a little bit apart with uh, the daylight time. Um, can you tell us a little bit about you and your role in the company, please? Yes, uh, I'm the brand ambassador, global brand ambassador, working at the Chichibu Distillery. Then what I'm doing, basically, like, if people are coming to the distillery, making the distillery tour, or like traveling around the world, uh, making the masterclass, or serving nice whiskey, then having chat and enjoying. That's a great job, right? Yeah, that sounds good. So when you travel around the world and people are coming and asking you what's so special about your distillery, how would you answer that? Yes, actually, it's a really difficult question because, you know, our whiskey making in Chichibu is like a foreign into Scottish way. So mm. let's say maybe more than 90% are very like similar to Scotch distillery. Right. But maybe in my opinion, but whiskey making is very strong connection with people. Like who is making distillery or philosophy, for example, Ichiro and also his team. Mm -hmm. We are not like whiskey producer, but also we are whiskey enthusiasts or whiskey type geek mm -hmm. type of people working distillery. So we are very strict for the, for example, product and also how do we taste whiskey or how do we enjoy whiskey. So maybe it's affect to the product and also blending technique, for example, like Ichiro does. Mm. You, you're doing very, uh, you're doing a lot of experiments, aren't you? Yes. So, little by little. <laughs> so can you tell us a little bit, little bit about that? What, what are mm -hmm. you trying, for example, right now? Yes, for example, you know, the, we are kind of very small and the newest distillery in Japan, but what we are doing is not like new, new innovating things. Mm. Uh, more like we are trying the more like traditional things, for mm. example, raw moldings or cask makings type right. of things. Then tradition people who already stopped doing, mm. it's going to be like a innovation for the future, we believe. So more like what we are doing is back to tradition type of whiskey making, but also cask management as well. Mm. We are using not only bourbon cask or sherry cask, but also wine cask and also some agave spirits cask. But basically we are sticking to the oak, not right. using, for example, sakura or anything else. And you're a pretty small team, aren't you? How many people are there in the distillery? Uh, actually, in total, yeah. uh, including part-time jobs, we have 45 people working. Okay. It's yes, gradually bigger and bigger now. Yeah, I see. So yeah. the reason why we are talking is that we get uh, two bottlings from a new series here in Austria through Vienna mm -hmm. Distribution. And yes. I, I wonder if you could tell us something about the, the, the liquids in the first two bottlings. And yes. Have you tasted them? Yes, a little bit, but uh, not like sitting in the bar or in my mm. room and enjoying for half an hour, only like a little bit, okay. one sip. So I'm trying not to tell you much about the whiskey because sometimes if I tell something, the idea is bugging you a lot. So, right. But what, what we are producing is, for example, the spirits wise. This is not just a well-balanced kind of things, but we need like a certain character for the spirits. Mm. So it has to have a character, yes. So then also we are carefully choosing the casks. So maybe the combination is very important when you are tasting. So first of all, I really want you to taste the flavor from the spirit itself. Mm -hmm. Then also flavor from the casks. Right. Yes. right. That there will be seven different uh, bottlings. <laughs> yes from the from the series for the seven gods of luck i think uh, yes, have you already that's... planned how how the next bottlings will be will they be in the in the same spirit and in in the same tone uh, you... not really because you know when for example uh, we are doing some single casks mm -hmm. we don't want to decide everything by ourselves because right. you know the market uh, each market has different preference so that what we are doing is we are trying to choose one or two or three single casks with the guy from the market. So maybe next year 
we might choose some small samples and again send it to the country. Then we choose both together. Well, Yumi, yeah. thank you for your time. Thank you for joining us here and uh, enjoy your evening over there in, in Japan. <laughs> thank you so much for your time. It was a pleasure. Yes.